I'm Heather Stalker, and today we're going to review the Florida Newborn Hearing Screening Program. Florida law requires that all babies be screened for hearing loss unless their parents object to this screening in writing. The statute also requires every hospital and birthing facility to provide for the detection of hearing loss. Each health care professional providing home births must also refer newborns to a licensed audiologist for screening within 30 days after birth. There are two tests that can be used for the hearing screen, the auditory brain response, ABR, and the otoacoustic emission, OAE. The OAE is the most commonly used method for screening newborns. In an OAE, the acoustic response is measured by a small probe that is placed in the ear canal. Sounds generated by this probe pass through the tympanic membrane and then are transmitted as fluid waves in the cochlea, as represented by the squiggly arrow. Tiny hair cells modulate this response and create small reverse fluid wave transmissions represented by the dotted arrow, which are then emitted as a small acoustic sound that can be measured. Successful measurement of sound indicates that hearing is normal. In the ABR, sound is generated and presented to the ear as indicated by the arrow on the left. This creates a fluid wave in the cochlea represented by the squiggly arrow. Tiny hair cells within the cochlea sense these fluid waves and transmit a nerve signal to the brainstem. Transmission of this signal can be determined as illustrated in the box diagram. For example, a clearly visible wave 5 indicates adequate nerve transmission. This baby is undergoing an OAE test. A baby can fail the screen in one or both ears. The screen is either performed once or twice depending upon the policies of the administering hospital. And the hearing screening must be conducted by a licensed audiologist, physician, or appropriately supervised trained individual. The newborn hearing screen is performed between a few hours after birth to 30 days after hospital discharge. For each baby that passes the hearing screen, the pass status is recorded on the newborn screening card and the screening is completed. If the baby fails the screen, a rescreen can be performed if time permits. If they pass after the rescreen, then the screening is complete. If they fail the rescreen, they are referred to a licensed audiologist for further evaluation within 15 working days of the failed screen. If the audiologist confirms hearing loss, then the baby is referred back to their primary care physician to arrange for medical management, treatment, and follow up services. Any child diagnosed with hearing loss, whether through the newborn screening program or before the age of 36 months, will require ongoing hearing services and is referred to the Children's Medical Services Early Intervention Program. Anyone who is not covered through insurance and cannot afford screening will be provided with a list of newborn hearing screening providers who can take the necessary testing free of charge. In 2012, 204,000 newborns were screened for hearing loss in the state of Florida. 3% of newborns screened were referred for follow-up testing because they failed their initial hearing screen. 169, or about 2.5% of babies who were referred for an abnormal initial screen actually had hearing loss in one or both ears. This means that about 1 in 28 babies that fail their screen will actually have confirmed hearing loss, and that about 1 in 1200 babies born in Florida have confirmed hearing loss. A list of resources and additional information for parents whose child is identified as having hearing impairment is available on the Florida Newborn Screening website or can be obtained by dialing the Newborn Screening Office at 850-245-4201.